story that would alarm any parents. Yes, and Nanny tells us that just hours ago, a man hacked into the baby monitor of the child she was caring for and talked about what she was doing inside that home. Phil Archer spoke with this nanny late today. He's joining us live now. And Phil, what else did the nanny tell you about this? Well, Bill, she used the word Dominique just used. She said it was creepy as well as potentially dangerous. Just imagine a woman alone with a small child in a private home comes to realize someone, a stranger, is watching their every move. Ashley Stanley is a professional nanny who spends most days with her one-year-old charge, Samantha Durchels. But this morning, they were joined in the baby's bedroom by an anonymous, uninvited third party. Ashley was changing Samantha's diaper when she noticed him. Um, I kept hearing a strange noise from over there by the crib. What Ashley heard was a man's voice coming from the security camera in Sam's bedroom. And before long, the voice began talking to her, making it clear someone was watching her and the baby. And they kept asking me, like, uh, or telling me, oh, that's a really cute baby you got there, and wow, that's a really poopy diaper. And I was like, oh, my goodness, like, are they watching me, like, right now? The camera is a safety precaution that allows Sam's parents to check in on the baby from work using their cell phones. But someone managed to hack the system and access the camera. The camera can be controlled remotely to survey the entire room, even look down the hallway into other parts of the house. Now, the camera isn't password protected, but the home Wi-Fi network it's attached to is. Veteran defense attorney Kent Schaefer says that likely makes it a federal crime. It's an unlawful interception of electronic communication, but the state and federal governments have, have criminal sanctions for that. It's not clear if the hacker will ever be identified, but Ashley and Samantha's parents aren't planning to give him another chance. So we unplugged it, and I'm afraid to plug it back in. <laughs> It may have been meant as a joke, but no one is laughing, and police aren't likely to be amused either. They do have the means to electronically backtrack and figure out who that intruder is. Reporting live downtown at the Federal Building, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Local.